It is the 1st of the 1st, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Hope everyone had a good holiday. Welcome to it. Eeny news. News about Fukushima keeps getting worse. Japan professor. Rash of disease in Fukushima children. Rate of cancer on thyroid up to dozens of times higher than usual. Expert, foreseeable radiation exposure by government. And it's well documented and known that people that get tested in their local area get completely different results when they go to Tokyo and get the same tests done. Arnie Gunderson, very visible steam at Fukushima unit number three is from constant radioactive releases coming from hot rubble not related to new explosion. Uh, a lot of stories coming out where the steam's been coming off of number three since July. Um, they've been reporting the coriums have left the building. Um, water gets down in there and steam is released. They keep dumping water into these things too as well. And also, um, no telling what's really going on in number three. Um, just the facts are that that steam is highly radioactive. Arnie's just trying to say uh, we only get to see it on cold days. It's basic released. 24-7, 365, every single day, like we've been telling you over and over and over again. Uh, officials, unprecedented disease outbreak to blame for dozens of bald eagles. Major development, really kind of un undocumented. Concerns varies. Viruses have mutated, brains hemorrhaging, uh, immune systems not fighting it off. Why are they now more susceptible, question mark? Uh, they are now hypothesizing, a.k.a. guessing, uh, that this is a West Nile virus uh, killing these eagles, uh, but they don't know for sure. Hmm. Gizmo report claims Fukushima could be in the middle of another meltdown. <laughs> the meltdown never ended. It started March 11th, 2011. And here it is, 1,027 days later. We're nowhere near the middle. We're just getting started. Uh, nine quakes hit the same area near Fukushima border in the past few hours. New Island along the Ring of Fire south of Tokyo, now over 15 times initial size in a month. Professor, massive volcanic eruption. We should pay close attention. It's a very unstable seismic area, uh, volcanic to boot, and uh, well, with 54 nuclear reactors on the coastline of Japan, <sighs> uh, anything's possible. Forbes, this is outrageous. Homeless people are being sold to companies and put to work on Fukushima radiation. You heard me right. They're selling homeless people from the shelters to the Yakuza and put them to work at Fukushima. Government-funded shelters supplying gangsters with workers. Yep. And most of these poor bastards end up paying them money to do it because they charge them for room and board when they go to work. Arnie Gunderson, U.S. Navy sailors suffered horrific radiation exposure off Fukushima coast. Massive government cover-up cover going on for many years. It will continue to cover it up because uh, they're going to blame everything but nuclear. Everything but nuclear. UPI, Quake Rocks, Northeast Japan, intensity 5 out of 7 on seismic scale. A uh, bunch of earthquakes going on and again Japan, Japan is on a seismically unstable zone. Former MSNBC host told not to warn people about Fukushima meltdowns. Quote, the official government position is that it's safe. Now go explain that to people who served on the USS Ronald Reagan. Lead researcher, Fukushima pollution may be causing sea star epidemic on the west coast. Sea urchins, sea cucumbers also affected. Something's making them susceptible. Something. It's unlike anything we've seen. Populations go locally extinct overnight. Literally. You gotta remember, uh, these sea stars used salt water as their blood. 
and absorb plutonium a thousand times the rate of anything else. Wonder why they're turning to goo. LA Times experts suggest bald eagle deaths are related to Fukushima radiation. I agree. Idaho officials reporting similar sickness. It's hard to have your national bird in your arms going through seizures. Sad state of affairs indeed. And it's not just the eagles. UN official astounded. Homeless are taken to work in Fukushima, ready to die. A pastor, quote, at the end of the month, they're left with no pay. Police, they end up in debt to their employers after food and housing fees are deducted. If that's not slavery, I don't know what is. So you better not find yourself in a homeless shelter in Japan. Are they going to start outreaching? How about a nice paid trip to Japan, everybody? Career opportunities. Unprecedented, unprecedented declines in Alaska king salmon related to impact from Fukushima? Question mark. No comment, says the NOAA biologist. Record low numbers seen in major fishery on Canada's west coast. Alarming decrease. You gotta remember the salmon fleet caught how many salmon last season? None. Not one single sardine. Yeah, that was sardines. Uh, Arnie Gunderson, nuclear fuel, been moved by groundwater at Fukushima Daiichi. It's time to walk away from the plant for the next hundred years once there's an underground sarcophagus. How you gonna do that, Arnie? Much more difficult to contain than Chernobyl, since it's been melting through for over a thousand days. <laughs> sarcophagus. Uh, high alert. Mystery illness being uh, killing bald eagles. Blah, blah, blah. Wings paralyzed. Full-blown seizures. Very big concern. Never seen anything like this. We just don't know what's going on. They never know what's going on, do they? They never know. Uh, more stories about the steam coming out of reactor number three. Uh, epidemiologist back from Fukushima. We're talking about a sacrifice zone and millions of people live in this area exceeds allowable radiation dose for nuclear workers 40 kilometers from the Fukushima plant. But they're deemed safe. They're growing crops. They're catching fish. It's on the market. It's not just Japan. Navy Times, now 70 plus men and women report suffering from Fukushima radiation, testicle removal, optic nerve removal, leukemias, polyps, were in their early 20s with good health. New documentary came out on Fukushima Beach 4. I will provide a link below. Very, very good documentary. Thanks, Alan. Engineer, six experts say nuclear explosion at reactor is possible. Uh, NRC Fukushima Unit 3 explosion had three loud bangs much larger than Unit you know, 1 blast. Tokyo professor's presentation adds question mark. Hydrogen explosions of reactor number 3 question mark. Come on, you believe this was a hydrogen explosion? All of them were. Three full meltdowns through containment, not counting the spent fuel pools. That'd make it seven, wouldn't it? Experts, Fukushima can't be excluded as a factor in the sea stars. They're turning to goo along the west coast. Uh, it hasn't been ruled out. They're particularly proficient at absorbing radioisotopes, a thousand times more plutonium than fish. Expert warm ocean currents spreading Fukushima contamination across the world. Remember the story about 28,000 little duckies? What that taught us three years to go around the globe over the northern hemisphere, down down the US west coast or east coast and off into Europe. It's already here. It's already happened. And if you think you're getting away from this, you're not. It's not just the ocean. It's in the air. Experts uh, highly significant quantity of fission products are flushed into the environment by water used on Fukushima molten fuel including plutonium and corium and 1,300 other radioactive isotopes. Most of those are classified and we'll never hear about. 
the insanity continues. Radio radioactivity to recirculate for many generations in ocean food chain. Meat content will increase with time. And who lives on the top of the food chain? That would be us. Fukushima Diary. TEPCO. Radioactive material may be coming up from the sea bottom of the plant port. You heard me right. TEPCO admits radiation might be seeping from the floor on the bottom of the port, which makes all these walls they're talking about pointless. And, agree, and again, it only emphasizes we've had full corium meltdowns into the environment, and they're now seeping up underneath the Pacific Ocean, directly into the Pacific, because they're just following that water. You're going to remember they built the Fukushima plant over a riverbed, and that old river still runs underneath it. That's what's kept the place from becoming a giant sinkhole that keeps sweeping it out into the Pacific Ocean. And you wonder why, on the Pacific coast of the United States and Canada, things are getting the way they are. Uh, in the press conference on the 27th of December, 2013, TEPCO spokesman stated there is a possibility that radioactive material may be coming from the sea bottom. Regardless of the underground wall to stop contamination, groundwater flowing into the sea, cesium-137, why do they always check one or two? Density has been increasing on the port side since this June. If radioactive material is actually coming up from the bottom of the sea, the underground wall would be useless, as I said. And that's about all I have new tonight. Uh, of course, with the new suppression going on out of Japan, there's really not a lot coming out uh, every day. And uh, we kind of got to squeeze what we can out of this. We need to pay attention as long as we can. Get people aware of what's going on. Be mindful of what you eat and what you do and how you live. Enjoy while you can, everybody. I love you.